good to be having it. And uh, it's good to be releasing. It's always important to release because you never know. This first song is the Virgin Thunder. Memories of the Virgin Thunder, momentary flashes there are pictures of there. Eyeballs revealed by unpredictable shadow, links in the chain to my eyeball vein. Eyeball vein, I see the webs of the spider. All that's inside her really is my sight.
I didn't really do any stories at the beginning of that tune, and probably just as well. But uh, I'll tell you a little bit about this song. First of all, I'd like to say thanks to everybody for showing up here. I appreciate that in a big way. And uh, there's going to be some different uh, setups here as far as different people playing at different times. And we've rehearsed most of it. So uh, it should go off smoothly. It'll be fun either way. So. But many thanks to everybody who put, helped me put this together. And uh, I'll probably say that three or four times before tonight's over. And all the musicians that showed up. And all the people that are on the disc who are all playing here this evening. But not on a couple of songs here at the beginning. This song is called The 1555. And uh, if you're milling around back there and you see my cassette, 1555, that's a photo of my grandfather. He's the guy on the left. And he used to shovel coal into steam engines for 15 hours and 55 minutes a day, seven days a week, uh, out of Yakima, Washington, which is where I'm originally from. 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 And uh, they used to do that because if they, if they, the union rules were that if uh, if the people worked 16 hours, they the uh, the companies had to pay them a lot extra in the way of overtime. So they got around that by working five minutes shy of 16 hours seven days a week, even to the point that if they were out on the line somewhere and uh, and they got to 1555, they'd stop the trains and send out crews to, to relieve them. So anyway, this song's called The 1555. Five minutes shy of 16 hours. 1555, working the 1555, working the 1555. And I can't get sick, I can't get sick. I just won't be in pain. Only work, 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 work. Work, 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 and work, and then running off the juices of my brain. I'm in one ton gone. Second ton gone. Lay down my shovel. We back here for the light up gone.
all she's gonna see, and all she's gonna see are my white eyes. Just like two full moons in the night of sudden fire. Ninety-four days, ninety-four in a row. Not one day, not one day with his sweet, sweet flow. But with one sun gone, second sun gone, three down my shovel. I'm gonna be back here for the light of started playing music when I came to Western. I wasn't taking music, but I found ways of getting around classes to play music. And uh, one, one thing I always knew I wanted to do was play in this room. And uh, there's two other rooms on campus, and I've played in one of the other ones that I've wanted to play in. But pretty nice room, I think. So I hope it sounds OK out there, does it? Sound decent? Good. Turn around and stare at that guy. This is one of the one of the songs I want to play that's not my own, but I like it a lot. It's called uh, the Embryonic Journey.
Thank you very much. There's a place just outside of my house there. Where I spent a great deal of time. It's called my yard. That's what I call it. My yard. And, uh... I went to school to get a degree in environmental education, outdoor ed. Uh, I have a BS. And uh, the BS taught me how to start to look and to see things a little bit differently and to hear things a little bit differently. And I've got a quarter acre of uh, yard in my, around my house there where I've learned a great deal since then about all kinds of stuff, which I can't really tell you the names or anything like that. Um, I've learned a lot about spiders. Fed a lot of spiders, seen a lot of spiders. I know a lot about different kinds of spiders. Couldn't tell you the names of them. I uh, have let, this summer, I let two birds go out of my hands. The cat, cats brought in a couple of birds on two different occasions, and I, on both occasions, held them in my hands while they went through the trauma of the shock that they were in and looked at me and fell asleep and looked at me for about 45 minutes and then flew into the trees, um, among other things. Hung out with friends, etc. as well. But this tune's called All the Little Ones. And it's, uh, well, I, that's enough. This song's called All the Little Ones. She cuts gullies in the fields with her eye high. Obeying ancient rules, she is shot from a bow. And a very little bow dies. The bow becomes bird, but then the bird becomes a bow. All in a bad glass ball hall and a beach gomer shade. Order, chaos, complex simplicity. And all the little ones are gonna share in the web. And all the little ones. And all the little ones. All us little ones. And all the little ones. 
all the little ones. song together since the studio. Uh, Matt, are you ready? Are you around here? No, he took a bus. There he is. This is Matt McCarter, and uh, he's going to play, what do you call that thing? The song's called Calling Out. Dust flowed so freely in the galaxy. 
become just as we are The old man he sings of his sad friend How about them stars? How about them stars? How It's called Blues on the Corner in India. I've never been to India. I've never been to Indiana.
Thanks, Matt. Yeah. Yeah. John, are you still here? God, I should have dressed up, man. What's going on around here? This is John Wall, and uh, we've been, it's weird to say this, but we've been playing music together now for six years. Say that, you know, you see that on a video or whatever, you see your favorite musician talking, well, we've been working together for about six years. We really have. We've been working together for about 27 years. We've been working together for about 59 years. This is a, this is a song called uh, One Big Vegetarian. I hope I can remember the words. You ready, John? Here we go. Still fear. The whole left side of his face was pierced. His feet slapped hard every time that he stepped. He greased the halls with his constant sweat. His skin was green, black, blue, and red. Tattooed up from his toes to his head. His name was Fred. Fred, or you're dead. A serpent said that was tattooed on his forehead. Yes, he was one big vegetarian. One big vegetarian. One big vegetarian. One big vegetarian. At rockin' bars, he was often seen. Throwing his head back with the band he would sing Silver shone when he flashed a smile You really rip it up when he danced the tie 180 proof was all he ever drank He would tip a buck and go uh, Thanks, yes, he was one big vegetarian One big vegetarian one big vegetarian One big vegetarian He cursed out loud with every breath he took He had the whole town completely shook The cops would freeze when he sped through town His Harley bike spit a thunderous sound on his back rode two black flies Both were trained to bite people in ties These aren't lies, man, I saw this guy He's one big vegetarian One big vegetarian One big vegetarian One big vegetarian His waist was the size of an old girl's trunk People say that he slept with skunks Up in the hills his home was a cave A half mile down through a winding maze Chiseled down with a homemade pick And his garden was completely organic Yes, he was one big one big vegetarian. One big vegetarian. One big vegetarian. Vegetarian.
Thank you. All right, if I get a big round of applause here for another Thai guy, this is uh, Marty Lovins, my father, and he's going to be joining us up here. The king of rock and roll. We're doing, uh, this is Moon Peak. This is the one we kind of broke up on, right? Drove up from Yakima. In fact, I'd like to draw attention to most of my families here. My grandmothers, both of them? Just one? Grandma, grandma's here? And uh, my sister and my mom, and oh, there's a couple people back there that I can see. This is Moon Piece. Here we go. This is the first. <laughs> Just think that you see it all so clearly. Well, it all might seem really real. Every now and then, you just 
gotta kick your feet up and just chill. G.T. Noah up here on the stage, my brother Todd, and, uh, and Michael Simon. Everybody's wearing a red tie. Has anybody figured that out yet? Except for me, just now. First songs I wrote. I wrote this song for a class. God, I had to write major, definitely. Got credit to, to write songs every now and again. Oh, yeah, Scott's wearing a red tie, too. I just realized. But I got a B on this song, just so you know. I really did. This is blood seeking.
the chest high silk and grasses well donated but still Take it on back here in just a second to a story I told this a little bit ago. This is totally on the nurse, of course. Once I started using my ears, one of the greatest things I've ever heard in my life, and I encourage you all to try it sometime when you use your ears, try to hear the sound of a spider's feet across a web. It can be heard. Magnificent. Of the fish and the fowl and the wolves that howl The creepers are coming, creeping through the night Blood seeking, blood seeking now Blood seeking, blood seeking, blood seeking Big hand for Marty Lovins coming off the stage here. The king of rock and roll. Enough, it's folk and music after all. Okay, this is the last song of the first set, and uh, we're going to be back in about 15 minutes, do a little returning, retuning number, and uh, got some other folks coming up here in the second set. And uh, thanks again to you guys, and here we go. This is Coffee at the Edge of Town.
reaching down Beat by get this feeling in my soul Reaching down deep by get this feeling Further Gonna keep on, gonna keep on keeping 
be back in just a few minutes. I can see you all now. <laughs>